What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now today I've got something a little bit special for you all. I managed to get my hands on one of our UK distribution exclusives and it is the CAO Flathead 770 Big Block. Wow, I mean this thing, this thing is almost the size of my head. It's a massive seven inch by 70 ring gauge box press cigar. Beautifully dark, that dark wrapper contrasting with that stunning red and, and silver band there. It's, it definitely emotes those, those thoughts of those big block and American muscle cars. Simply, simply stunning. Like I said, it's got a broad uh, Connecticut broadleaf uh, Maduro wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, I'll get there eventually, and a Nicaraguan long leaf aged fillers. So definitely gonna be a lot going on in this cigar, considering the size and the, you know just the general dimensions of it, it's gonna have loads of time for the, those flavors to develop and those changes are not gonna be so subtle. You're gonna have real time to sit into them. Uh, talking of that, I'm, I've set myself up, I've got my laptop here, I'm gonna be working in between while I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna keep coming back to you guys, giving you my thoughts as the flavors change and as the flavors develop. But you know the drill, let's stop talking, let's get it cut and lit, and let's move on to the first third. What's going on everyone? So I'm about an inch of the way through the cigar so far and I was expecting it to completely blow my head off straight off the bat. You know, that real dark wrapper, um, you know, lots of tobacco in there. I was expecting it to really, you know, pack a punch straight off the bat, but it's been surprisingly smooth and surprisingly pleasant. I'm getting quite a lot of cocoa. Um, there's a real sort of cocoa dark chocolatey notes coming through. There's a little bit of coffee, um, a, a sort of, you know, espresso note coming through that's mixing well with that chocolate. Chocolate. There is some hay, hay notes in there. That um, Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper is definitely giving it a little bit of spice as well. There's a little bit of white pepper just sprinkling through over the chocolatey and the sweetness. But really, really impressive. I've actually gone, I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up on there. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick that up. So I've gone for three punch cuts. I will stick a picture up of that online. So I've gone for three punch cuts in an almost flower shape to really open up that aperture. The, foot, uh, the uh, cap sorry, of this cigar is actually completely flat. So I thought that's the perfect opportunity to use a punch cut to really open that up and sort of tailor the, the, the draw exactly how I want it. So I started off with the one and then I've kind of experimented with adding a couple in, a couple more in. It's holding quite well. The ash is real big chunks of ash as well, you know, real nice stacks of, uh, stacks of pennies on there. It's really, really enjoyable. I'm going to carry on with this. It's taking me about 20 minutes to get to this point. I'm working away on my laptop. It's just out of shot here. So I'm definitely multitasking today, but this is the kind of perfect cigar for that. You can kind of put it down for a little while. It's going to maintain that combustion inside. So you haven't got to relight it at all. Really, really enjoyable. I'm going to go grab myself a coffee, I think, just so I've got something to go with this. But I'm going to carry on. Let's see where this takes me. I could be here for some time, but I'm going to tell you every single stage of this cigar as we go through it. I'll see you in a second. So guys, I'm about at the midway point and the ash just fell off about 10 seconds ago and it fell off crisp and clean. Beautiful, just razor sharp burn line and the ash dropped off absolutely perfectly. And I'm kind of lost for words. I was expecting, I, was expe I don't know what I was really expecting. I was expecting this to be a, an absolute rocket and it's just been really smooth. It's been delicious to the taste. The smoke has been pouring off, it's just been filling my mouth with every single puff and those flavours, that chocolatiness, that little bit of spice being sprinkled through, that cocoa espresso note has came through as well. It has been joined with a slightly floral room aroma. I'm not quite guessing it on the taste, but the room note is kind of, um, it's picked up a little bit of a potpourri-esque sort of tinge to the room note. Really, really nice. One of the guys just popped their head in quickly to see um, how I was getting on and they went, wow, that smells incredible beautiful beautiful cigar and i cannot believe the price of these well under 30 pounds for one of the biggest cigars available on the uk market absolutely stunning i'm going to carry on with this i'm about 45 50 minutes in and it's just about the halfway point so you're probably looking at a good two hours on this i'm still working away so lots going on out, off out of scenes i'm putting the cigar down putting it down for sometimes three four minutes at a time picking it back up again and it's just maintaining that heat and that flame i'm not i haven't had to relight this at all or touch it up in any way it's been absolutely beautiful it's maintained that box press as well some of those box press cigars do tend to slightly swell as they get some heat into them but it's really well contained that shape simply simply stunning so far i'm going to carry on with this carry on with a little bit more work let's see where this goes i'll check you in a second 
So guys, I'm still plugging away at this. I'm about just over an hour, hour and 10 in so far. I did pop out quickly, I had a customer down in the shop that I needed to talk to. Um, so when I came back, the ash did drop off, but it's still been so smooth and creamy and delicious and chocolatey and just giving me so much more than I was expecting. I keep saying that I was expecting, I was expecting just a lot of spice and a lot of heat and a lot of strength but this has been beautiful. I'm carrying on with this, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going as far down as I can go. I may even go pull out my perfect draw tool so I can really nub this right down as far as physically possible. It's been phenomenal, those chocolatey notes have continued. They've kind of gone further into the dark chocolates, more into it's kind of like those uh, 80 and 90% real dark, dark cocoa solid chocolates but the coffee note has still been sprinkled around. That pepper heat is still coming and going, nicely sprinkled around, just dancing around on my palate. There's been plumes of smoke with every single puff and it's thick, palatable smoke and it's filling that room with those delicious, delicious aromas. That potpourri note that I was getting in the room has kind of dropped back a bit, but that cocoa note has actually even intensified further in the room aroma. It's been a stunning cigar to enjoy. Like I said, I'm about an hour and 10, hour and 15 so far of actually enjoying this. I'm still working away, plugging away at the laptop, but it's the perfect cigar for that. You can really multitask. You can put this down four or five minutes at a time, come back to it, no need to relight, no need to touch up. Stunning. I'm gonna carry on and I'll see you in a few. So guys, another 25 minutes or so has passed and this has really slowed down. The cigar's really slowed down in its burn time, but it's given it a little bit more time. That the, the strength has picked up, but it's not been massive punch. It's been gradual. It's gradually building up and building up. I'm holding onto the cigar here. It's not hot to the touch at all. It's really nice and smooth. The smoke and the, the, the mouthfeel isn't hot or uncomfortable. Just really, really nice. It's burned impeccably. The construction has been flawless. I cannot fault that at all. Um, it's definitely one that's taken me by surprise. I know I keep saying this, but it's definitely one that's taken me by surprise. With those bigger ring gauge cigars and those longer lengths, you know, those kind of baseball bat cigars, sometimes they are a little bit style over substance, but this is such a well-constructed cigar. And like I said, it is exclusive to cigars in the UK, so you're not gonna be able to find this cigar anywhere else. Definitely something you're gonna to wanna to pick up. I'm gonna plug away at this a little bit longer. I really wanna take this down as far as I can possibly go. Join me back in a few seconds, and let's see what the end has got in store. So guys, I'm just about down to the last inch or so of this cigar, and I've, I've been blown away. I've I'm almost lost for words. It's been phenomenal all the way from the start of that seven inches all the way down to this final inch. It's been simply stunning. Definitely something you guys are gonna wanna pick up. Unbelievably well priced at the moment, massively under 30 pounds for such a considerable size cigar. So well constructed, such amazing flavors, not one dimensional at all. It's got, it's got peaks and troughs and flavors and just everything that you'd ever possibly want from a massive cigar. Head over to the website right now, it's cigars.com, that's cgars.com. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button so I know that you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, please take care of yourselves. Peace.